it's a precarious situation because, you know, people ask me and like, you know, my answer, of course, I don't want bad luck to befall Khabib or Gaethje because I respect them a ton. I don't want bad luck to befall the UFC because they put a ton of uh, promotion and, and money and resources behind this title fight happening. Um, but this big of a fight, the last card on uh, on Fight Island, on, on as far as we know for now, uh, for the foreseeable future, they needed someone to be here as an insurance policy, as a backup plan uh, in case somebody did fall off the card. So I've said, you know, I have to be ready. At, at this point, I still don't know whether I'm weighing in and then waiting for Khabib and Gaethje to make weight and then I'm good. Or if the next morning I got to still train and, and, and warm up as if I'm showing up to the arena and fighting on Saturday night. I don't know if I'm going to go to the arena, warm up, get my hands wrapped until Khabib and Gaethje actually step into that cage and that cage door locks and um, Bruce Buffer's announcing them. I don't know. So um, at this point, I'm just focused on fight week. Uh, the UFC will let me know pretty darn soon. And really, at the end of the day, it's not really any of my business. You know, I signed on the dotted line saying I'd be the alternate. I am the alternate until I am needed no more. All I can do is do my job. This right now, October 24th, as the alternate here at UFC 254, that's my job number one. And then I focus on job number two, which is getting my next fight. Hopefully, uh, Tony Ferguson or someone inside the top five that immediately puts me in the title contention and immediately proves my worth in the lightweight UFC lightweight division and uh, proves my standing in the world to be able to get that title shot in the next 12 months. Khabib has, has gone on record now. He, he says the fight that interests him is GSP because he's beaten Connor, he's beaten Poirier. Um, he will have beaten Gaethje if he is successful on Saturday night. And uh, Tony Ferguson is the only guy who he hasn't beat, who he has, you know, coincidentally been scheduled with five or six times and it has never come to fruition. So if I go out there against the scariest guy in the division and Tony Ferguson, a guy who's a wild card, a guy who keeps people on the edge of their seat, it's a great introductory fight um, to who Michael Chandler is, to the mainstream, to the UFC fans, as well as knocking off the one guy who's been scheduled with Khabib numerous times and hasn't been able to get to the cage for one reason or another. So I think it puts me right into that number one spot to be able to fight Khabib next. Now, we know this is the fight game. This is a fight promotion. Promoters need to promote, and the UFC uh, will make their decision. Um, so I want to get ready to do my job, and I hope my job is going out there and beating Tony Ferguson.